What was most impressive for me was just the landscape. Beautiful green forest, mountains in the background of our surf and just being in a wave or seeing someone on a wave and the water being so blue and you can just see the reef underneath you as you're going on a wave, that was incredible. If I was to ever do a surf trip, like just on my own accord, this is the sort of trip that for me, just loving every part of the ocean, like snorkeling, really good fishing on the cards. And to top it off, like what you're chasing, those crazy waves, like if you score that, it's like it's as good as it gets. So nice. Such a fun start to the trip. And this wave has so much potential. I mean, even today, the way it was on low tide, I imagine there were some sick ones. Like, so, still so fun, but a little less water on the reef. It'd be pretty crazy. I'm so happy to be here. I mean, this is every surfer's dream trip. The waves here are insane, so I think for sure, like, could get the wave of my life. So I just gotta be there and be present and hope for the best. <laughs> Every wave we've been to and seen has been just double black diamond. They're all kind of in the same category of heavy right hand reef breaks. <laughs> I'm not known to surf waves of this kind, which <laughs> I think showed in my surfing on this trip. It's like probably the weakest aspect of my surfing personally. And so I think I was like exposed in that way, but at the same time, like super happy to have been invited and to like come and surf these waves and hopefully get better at doing that, which is like something I've always wanted to do, but something that's not like easy to do. kind of on the corner like the, the more slabby ones and kind of eating itself and now that the swell is starting to change direction and it's moving up the reef more to where Soli was surfing by himself early so we're all kind of having a look up there and there's some really good ones they're kind of hard to pick but when they come they're pretty insane the section he was surfing early like I surfed that section a bunch but not when it's sucking dry on the second section like he was packing ones from deep and so confident that he was gonna come out and be able to doggy door and escape that end section. And they were really literally boulders sucking dry in the face in front of him. It's pretty insane. And now that the, the swells changed direction and it's all up there, it's, it's getting better and better. It was so awesome to do a trip with Sully and Ian. For me, it was just humbling and amazing to be beside them on a trip and it was cool to have Ian as a goofy for me to look up to and seeing how a goofy can approach the waves that we were surfing and also cool to see like how stylish and smooth and amazing Sully is at surfing so it was, it was really great to have these two people that are just incredible surfers, incredible people and they were always willing to teach me and help me evolve. It was an amazing experience for me.